start recording, start recording. So check this out. I'm confused trying to figure out how to do Capri Styles and Maya G. Everybody doing chick joints, probably buy these little dudes at this point. Remember everybody used to bite nickel now, everybody doing Bitcoin. We don't got nothing in common. We don't got nothing in common. Y'all in the stuff like double dick joints, probably buy these little dudes at this point. Remember everybody used to bite nickel now, everybody doing Bitcoin. We remember everybody used to bite nickel now, everybody doing Bitcoin. Everybody used to bite nickel now, everybody doing Bitcoin. We don't got nothing in common now, everybody doing Bitcoin. We don't got nothing in common now, everybody doing Bitcoin. We don't got nothing in common now, everybody doing Bitcoin. Everybody doing Bitcoin. <laughs> it's happening again. Starting to see the flush of the average person getting into Bitcoin. That was on Eminem's track. Uh, that was actually Royce to 5 9 on Eminem's track. Not alike off his new album, Kamikaze. So, we're starting to feel that. How many millions of little teeny boppers are going to be out there hearing that and go, what? What's Bitcoin? I need to invest. Bull market. It's that time again. So, on to episode two. Still thinking about the name. I was thinking the Bitcoin or crypto danger zone, right? Because it is about crypto. We're kind of in a fucked up place where anything can happen at any time. <laughs> and we did actually. Today I had to deal with uh, three power outages. So I was in the middle of placing an order on HitBTC, a sell order. And it wasn't going through. And we tap in the dot, 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 dot. The key we realized, oh my God, the power went out. So I was hoping that the the, uh, the trade went through um, until the power came back. It came back. Actually, I got a haircut. Came back and uh, yeah, it didn't go through. And it dropped like ten points. So I still managed to get a sell order because I knew. I mean, I could see a sell off. Um, I'm still I shorted it and I'm still good because it's continuing to drop. But I was a little pissed because I lost ten pips off that shit and. Uh, Looking to rebuy here. Mm, probably like three hours. We'll see if we can back up. So where we got going today? Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, have no sponsors for today. Uh, like I said, my boy Keith did help me get started. Um, if you want to help me get started, get all the information for a donation, Bitcoin, PayPal, and all that good stuff. So where we at? Today is set. September 1. This time last year, September 1, I was in Cha 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 China. I was learning about crypto. That's what I learned about crypto. So, where are we at? We got the market at 237,172,365,102, which is up from yesterday, which was at 226 billion. So, from 226 billion to 237 billion, so about 11 billion. In 24 hours, that's quite a bit. Now the volume is about the same, just a couple hundred thousand, a couple million is the difference. So yesterday we're at 13 million billion 243,000. Today we're at 13 billion 250,000. So it's a few a few million there, which in the scale of this is not much. Bitcoin is up to 7,196, and Bitcoin Cash is 6.2. Bitcoin diamonds is at 52.3%. So, as much as it's going down, to me that's good. It's actually going up. So, so we have another, you know, of the top five places. Everybody's in green today. Bitcoin Cash did make kind of a kill to it at 12%. All right, the top 10 is Tether. I hate, I hate Tether. We don't want to even start on Tether. XRP is still going up a little bit, waiting for a big pull up. 34 is where it's been kind of drop, hitting and then dropping and hitting and dropping. So I got out of that position so after making some money off that. Um, so who are the biggest winners today? Remember, I don't go strictly on um, what the list is. I go off a million dollar volume at least. So IG token, which actually yesterday was negative 26. It was down 26%. And today is at the number one gainer at 113% with that nice little price at least 1.5 million in volume. 
Next quote I had is the ORS. I don't know what the fuck that is, or what it does, but it's called Origin Sport, which is up 39.91, so I'd say 40% on the day. Um, the next one, <laughs> famous Dogecoin is still going up, another 36.32%. I think Dogecoin yesterday was up 31% too, so it's still going, still rising. You can say it's a little moonshot, Doge. Shout out to everybody holding the Dogecoin. Got another Doge. All right, so biggest losers. So a lot of these aren't having volumes of a million. I think I only have two over a million, and then I had a corporate one with uh, cash coin at nine hundred thousand. So the biggest loser and the big winner. And why do I only do a million dollars? Enough? It's because anything that has a volume that's like seventy-eight thousand, seventy-nine thousand, sixty-nine thousand, sixty-six thousand. Like, let's see 10,000 sometimes. It could just be manipulated by one person. Like I said, it's not worth fucking around with. Um, so, on the top we had Apis, which is took a piss today, <laughs> dropping 9.67%. Next was Noah Coin, which yesterday was killing it. Noah was in the top. Let me see, not yesterday. Noah, three days ago, was at 128% up. Number one on the gainers. So normally there's going to be a correction, and today, two days later, it's at negative, or dropping 8.47%. And then Cash Coin, which is the one that's closest to this is Noah, by the way. Noah, I don't know if Noah's art or some shit. I did have Noah for a while, then I got rid of it. I didn't make much money off of it. It got boring. Uh, next one was Cash Coin. Where are you? Here, cash coin. Cash coin dropped 7.1%. Don't know much about it. Another coin that I don't care. You shouldn't care. But if you do, remember you can always go to click on the cash coin, comma here. Got their information, rank, website, announcement, explore. They seem to be missing some things here, like social media and stuff. Anyways, you can go to markets if you are interested in trading these. And um, yeah, these are the three markets that trade this shit. And look at this clown ass motherfucking coin. It's on Adobe Trade, which I've never heard of. Crex24, who the fuck knows what that is. And Cfinex, which sounds like fucking Bitfinex, but for crackheads. Uh, ho, oh, check it out. Volume, $631. <laughs> Volume, $13. Crackfinex. Zero dollars. Yeah, this is just <laughs> who the fuck is messing with this? Nobody. So stay away from those kind of clothes. Not all the times. There are some out there that are worth it, but they're very diff difficult to find, and you have, really have to do some hard research. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody come back and go, yo, cash coins is shit, man. What the fuck are you talking about? All right, all right. I'm just saying the numbers say otherwise. So, we got our Google Trends. I do have an article about Google Trends and a correlation between price. Later, some Dutch genius found the correlation, obviously. Uh, today we're at 10, so not much of a change from the last time, the last month. And yesterday actually was at 10, so today's at 10, but we're up two points over the week, and people are looking for it. Uh, as far as crypto trending um, and searches and what's on the internet, still got Bitcoin dominating, Substratum second. I wonder what new Substratum has. I should look that up. Um, if you're a trader, swing trader, this would be interesting for you to go look at Substratum and see what's happening and see if there's an opportunity to make money. IOTA's next. Now, these, all these ones here are opportunities that haven't happened yet and are about to or we're at the peak and then dropping back down so you always have to keep in reference in where they were before so i think these are kind of make, i know neil's making a couple of moves they have several events coming up which i will state in this video uh, xrp has a lot of um analysts saying that they're in a bowl we'll turn it now v chain's about to make their announcement for their Partnership, very big partnership. So keep that in mind. These 
like I said before, these are this is information that could be tradable information. Not analytical, technical, but more fundamental trading. So looking at what could possibly as far as news, events, um, updates that could see a positive price movement. Um, not as much of me covering the technical. Although when I do go look, if I see something I really do like, I'll go, you know, I'll be like, okay, I like this, I like that. Um, let me go check out the, you know, with the RSI, um, the MACD, uh, where it is on the Bollinger Bands, um, on the candle charts, on whatever exchange I like to use. And if that confirms it, plus the volume, and the order books, everything looks good, then I'll definitely make a move. But sometimes the news isn't online with the technical stuff, so it could just mean that it's too early or it's already happened. Sometimes you're just too late. Uh, the move's already been made. But that's why you want to kind of get it ahead of, ahead of the game a few days, which runs us into what I talk about, the events of note. So I kind of keep these events a few days ahead so that you have an opportunity to jump in and make these trades um, before you see a spike. Sometimes they happen a month before. Not all the time. It's pretty rare. But a lot of times they happen five days before, four days before. And sometimes they even push it all the way to the last few hours right before because, you know, people want to just scalp that last bit of profit. So, events of notice. See what we got, we got, we got, I don't know, toy things, why does that keep popping up? Well, the ones to me that stand out, which you can all go look at here on CoinMarketCal and decide what's important to you, but I do like a few of the events happening here. Um, obviously, you got the August 30th, these are all past, so it won't matter. Um, we were looking at what was happening for September. Let's see, let's get up there. So let's go back to one. There we go, to September. So starting with the 3rd of September, NEO. Now this single event wouldn't have mattered, but because NEO is having a 3rd September meetup in Montevideo, Uruguay, and then having another meetup in Uruguay on the 5th, followed by a Malaysia meetup at the same time on the 5th, so they're like on a pretty strong promotional tour in September, so they must have something up their sleeve. They're so cheap right now that it it's just screaming bull run. So keep an eye on the uh, I might try to wait and see. It's at about 21, 20 right now. I'll see if it dips below again to like 16, 15, and then make a move on it. If not, I'd buy before it hit 25 for sure. Um, Next up, VAT, VE chain, massive, massive tradable move here. They're officially announcing the name of the automobile partnership. Now this could work either two ways. Now people have been buying in to it because the rumors have been around. Now it's official that they're going to announce it. So people are excited about that. Now if they come out and they announce that they're doing a partnership with Tyco, and they're not doing anything. People will just will drop. I mean, the value will drop. But if they come out here, and like I've heard the rumors that they're working with VW. So if they're doing a massive partnership with VW, where they're playing an integral part in the future of technology within the vehicles, I would say that this would be a buy immediately, and it's going to continue to rise after the announcement. Um, and then obviously it'll rise, rise, rise. We try to find the spot, the top, and then make sure you get rid of it before it corrects. But remember, this isn't you know professional advice. I don't have any licenses from douchebags who don't know anything either that say that I can talk to you about this. But it's definitely something to look at. You know, it's got a better chance than uh, Krill. I'm not really sure what Krill's doing. <laughs> but Dogecoin beats everybody. <laughs> Doge Ethereum demo. <laughs> I just want to find out what that is. Uh, what else have we got? We got ADA on the 5th. I think it's on page 2. This one's not as big, but it does sometimes raise volume. Volume raises price. 
So Bittrex is adding a USD ABA pair on the 5th of September. So keep an eye on that. Probably have a little bit of ADA. Keep an eye on the volume. If it explodes, you could see a big pop in price, which will definitely drop back down, but take advantage of that drop. These are the other two events. I'll talk about UI Blockchain Summit and the Malaysia Meetup. Basically, happen simultaneously. Um, one in Malaysia, one in Uruguay. At a golf club. You know, where all the techies hang out. Fucking golf club. Another one I like to, <laughs> just because of the fact that they're working with porn, is uh, the Vice Industry Token, uh, the Vice Token Platform launch. So, I didn't have that right down as a note because I don't own any Vice Token. I don't know where to buy it, and I'm not really into investing in fucking porn. But let's see here. If somebody wants to make a move on that, there's nothing wrong with porn, you know. Let's see where it can get you by looking by Vice Industry Token. So he's doing pretty well. It's up 7% and I'll find the markets. Markets. Vice token you can find. Um, it's got some decent, okay, it's on Cryptopia, HitBTC, IDEX, Stocks Exchange, and IDAX. Uh, I've got pairings, pairings with ETH, BTC, USDT, NXT. That's a strange pairing. Um, obviously, from stocks has changed down to VIT ETH, it's zero dollar volume. The volume overall is pretty shit. I mean, look at that, one thousand dollars, whatever. But uh, yeah, doesn't matter as long as you get on that that spike and get rid of it. Uh, oh look, Puma Pay, what a great name. Ah, uh, speaking of easy payments, man, I'm going through a fucking hell of a battle with BitPay, trying to get my card working again. They're all complaining about, why are you spending money overseas? I mean, they charge me like $4 every time I use the card for using it overseas. Why would they complain about that? That's just extra money for them. All right? So, moving on. What do we got? We have... Economists find correlation between Bitcoin price and Google searches. Fucking Captain Obvious over here. I mean, people have been talking about this for fucking months and months since last year, probably before that, but I know last year somebody tried to make a big deal out of this. Dutch economist and policy advisor. Let's get his name first, because that's, that's probably the most interesting part of this piece since everyone already knows what this His name is actually um, Juist van Burkt. The oh, fuck. Then again, no, van der Burkt. Because, you know, all Dutch people have to have the Van der Bar, Van der Bar, Van der Bar, Van Gogh. Yep, he stated the painfully obvious that discovery of a correlation between Bitcoin prices and Google searches, part of what I've integrated in this already. So, yeah, not news. Uh, Reddit sentiment has been extremely high on the uh, bullish on uh, the shifting of the markets, finally. You know, you know, people on Reddit, people on Reddit are vicious, man. They tell you like it is. Um, another piece of information I found interesting today, which I don't have up here, is that uh, BTC Bitcoin actually was processing like one transaction per was processing one transaction for fifty dollars a transaction last year. Which I can definitely attest to in December when it was painful to send any type of BTC anywhere costs so damn much. But now that same fifty dollars can process thirty-five thousand transactions. That's amazing. So I gotta give it to B Bitcoin. I was saying Bcash, Bcash. <laughs> Sorry, I actually like Bitcoin Cash, but I just hear it so much. Um, the propaganda is working. Uh, I thought Bitcoin Cash was going to have the upper hand there for a while, but Bitcoin, if you can keep it sustain this, I don't know how it's hurting the miners. Obviously, someone's still mining it, but looks like Bitcoin is really improving itself. Yeah, other than that, there's a bunch of other news, but I'll be covering this every day. Um, these are moves that I gave you today, which can definitely be capitalized on. Um, should keep you busy enough to make some trades. 
and be profitable. I'll be back tomorrow with some more news of, of relevancy and some more price action, what's going on in the market in these broken down videos. And I always add a little bit of what's going on around here so you can see the craziness that I'm doing. And uh, with that, I'm out. Peace. Have a good one. Keep trading. Hodl. Don't hodl. Don't do that. Don't get caught in that trade. Or don't get caught holding something that's just crashing in value. You know? I'm learning a lot right now. Actually, we're doing a, a video book called What I Learned Losing a Million Dollars. And it's definitely opened my eyes to the psychology of actually making money. And reflecting on my mentality of holding throughout this bear market. And me thinking, man, I should have I should have set parameters at where I was comfortable um, or where I would accept the price drops to. So I should have said, look, if I'm at 200 k plus and it's starting to correct and I missed out because of whatever lack of liquidity, where's the maximum, I'm willing, the lowest I'm willing to go, right? I should have set it at like 50k no matter what. At least that'll take care of some things for the meantime, even if it shoots back up. But I never saw the market capitulating just going down to this point. So, bad on me. Opportunity for you to avoid that. And I'm still going to make it out. You know, learn from the mistake and ride that wave back up. So, never just sell everything. You know, take that asset, put it in something else. Research and believe in something else. you got to believe in the technology. It's just here for the long run. So just make sure you're building the right companies, the right coins, and you're going to be retired in five years. I personally say that anyone that I'm working with or myself will be retired by 2020. So hit me up, email, inbox, leave a comment. we we'll work together. Or if you want to help out, try to get that on. <clears throat> blockchain crypto uh, out here in Nicaragua to try to help people improve their lives you know hand up not a hand out so that they can slowly get themselves out of uh, poverty um, I'm all about that and I think everyone can afford to give up five bucks or a dollar a month to help support a mission like that all right so peace